All right, good afternoon everyone, or good morning, depending on when you're watching this, to Pacific Science Center's very own live science stage. My name is Max, and we are here today to do one of our very special science demos called Monster Sound. Today we will be experimenting with what is sound and figuring out what that is, as well as how sound can change and how we might be able to change it. Now, we first have to think about this because if we are figuring out what is sound, we have to make some noise. And so everyone think, how can you make noise? That might be making noise with your hands, say like clapping, <laughs> or maybe slapping your legs, or maybe making sounds with your feet, but I am making sounds right now with my voice. Now, the key to what is sound is figuring out what it is. And so everyone take two of your fingers and touch them to your throat. And everyone copy me. A weem away, a weem away, a weem away, a weem away. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Did you feel anything? Did you feel anything on your fingers? you may have felt something that we call vibrations. Now, as things are vibrating, that is the key to making sound. It's making noise. If we stop those vibrations, we stop the sound, we stop the noise. Now, there are many different things that are making, or can make sound up here, such as, say, my guitar. Now, let's see what kind of noises my guitar can make. Did you hear that? Now, you might look at my guitar and you may have heard it making sound, but what is vibrating? Now, you all might be able to see that the strings are vibrating. But if I am turning off the speaker and I do the exact same thing, my guitar is still making sound. But because I turn the speaker off, it's not making as much noise. It's making a different sound. Now, the thing is, is if we test this out, I can definitely hear those vibrations, but it's a little harder to see them. And so what I am going to do is I've attached a laser to my speaker. The laser beam is pointing at a mirror on the speaker. And so there's a laser beam right above my head. You might be able to see it up there. Now, if the speaker is vibrating and I make a sound, do we think that laser beam will stay in one spot, or do we think it will move? Well, let's find out. It certainly moved a lot. So, once again, we just proved, we just showed that the vibrations make the noise. Now, vibrations are moving things. They move the speaker, they move our vocal cords, and they move things in the air. Those things that they vibrate are called molecules. As the vibrations bump the molecules, either on the speaker, in the air, maybe even animals in the water, we're able to pick up on those vibrations with our ears. Because as they are vibrating, they are making a specific shape. They are making something we call sound waves. As those sound waves travel through the air, as those vibrations hit our ear, that is how we are able to pick up on different sounds. So we have figured out what sound is, now we have to figure out how it can change. 
and it can change in a couple of different ways. In order to figure out the first way, we are going to use, we are going to experiment with something I call my wub wub tube. Now, I call this my wub wub tube because we might notice some changes. But when I strum it, every time it goes up, I'm going to say the word wub. So here we go. Wub, 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 wub. Now, if I shorten my wub wub tube, do we think the wubs will be faster or slower? Let's find out. Wub, 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 wub. What'd you all notice? It got faster. And so if we make it even shorter, wub, 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 or shorter, wub, 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 we notice a change to the speed. That change to the speed is something that we call pitch. When pitch changes, sounds can be very low, moving very slow, or very, very high, moving very, very fast. Now, we tested that out with my wub wub tube. Now we get to test it out with my voice. Now, I am speaking right now into something we call an oscilloscope. And you might be able to see my voice, the sound waves, up on the screens. Now, as I'm talking, you might be able to see that my sound wave is also changing. But if I adjust my pitch, say I test out something really low, low. You might be able to see those sound waves are very, very long, compared to if I go very, very high-pitched, they are much shorter. They are moving very, very fast with a lot of energy. But you may have noticed a second way that sound waves can change. Because we can change the speed we can also change how much energy is into them. That change in energy is something that we call volume. Now, we change the pitch. Let's try to also adjust the volume. So, I'm going to put some energy into some things up here. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty loud. Oh, maybe the metal cabinet. Okay, that's pretty loud as well. Maybe the cymbal. Whoa, okay, that one was very loud. Do you see anything else we should hit? Anything else what we should add some energy to? Hmm, you do. Should we test out the gong? All right. Now, this might get pretty loud. So I'm going to be putting on my ear protection. If you do not like loud noises, I would recommend plugging your ears. But here we go in three, two, one. Was that very loud? Should we test it again? All right, now this one is gonna have some more energy. Here we go in three, two, one. Was that one louder? Should we add even more energy? Now friends, this one will be super duper loud, so once again, if you do not like loud noises, please plug in your ears. Here we go in three, two, one. Whoa, that was very, very loud. Now friends, we have figured out two different ways sound can change with pitch, but also with volume. In order to figure out another way sound might be able to change, I'm just gonna sing us a little song on my guitar. That doesn't sound right. Is something wrong with my guitar? Does It looks okay, but wait, who? 
Where's my back? No wonder it was half off. Now friends, do we think that the sound waves acted differently inside of the guitar because there was no back? Now that is because that guitar is missing something we call amplification. As those sound waves were missing, or as they got strummed into the guitar, they weren't able to bounce all over the place. The guitar didn't have a back, so the sound waves kind of went off, causing the guitar to sound a little bit different. Now, if my guitar isn't able to work for our big finale, we will be testing out something else. What we will be testing out is right up here. Now, you all might be able to see a couple of instruments. My guitar is up here. I also have a keyboard. Now, the keyboard is making sound because of this speaker. But as this speaker is sending sound waves through this metal tube, it's going to be popping up energy through these little holes right here. Now, the trick is, I am going to fill that metal tube with something called propane gas. Propane gas is flammable. It's able to have flame. So that is why I'm putting on my ear, or my eye protection, excuse me. Now, the trick is, is my speaker here is going to be sending sound waves through this tube. Now, the different sound waves, depending on the pitch, depending on the volume, we might be able to see different things pop up from the metal tube. Should we test it out? Let's try it. Now, you might be able to see some of the propane on fire right now. Some of those looks like little blue flames right there. But let's test out if we're able to change that. Did you notice anything? Now, that almost looks like a sound wave. And if I move it a little higher pitch, That's different than if I lower it as well. Were you able to see those sound waves? Maybe something a little bit different when it's high compared to low. Or maybe even in the middle. Now, we saw those changes in pitch, but we can also see it in the volume. So if I lower the volume here, we might not see as much energy popping up. We can see some. If I turn it up a lot more, We see it move quite a bit. And so those vibrations were moving the propane molecules in the tube. As they were bumping and moving through the metal tube, we could see with changes to pitch and changes to volume. Now, thank you for stopping by our Monster Sound show today. We hope to see you again. <laughs>